Yeah, painting the roses red. Hi, I'm Mishdi Max, and I'm here to share this vibrant, glittery, mega 3D lip art tutorial. As you know, I always love sticking large, random stuff to my lips, and these metal rose dudes are so brilliant looking and too cute to boot, so I just had to create a lip with them. Plus, pair them with this amazing red glitter. I can show you how I created this madness, from glittery lip to full-on we're all mad here action. I have previously used other colors of the same roses in nail art tutorials, which you can find in the card and such. So let's tear through this crazy killer lip art before she screams, off with her head. I began by priming my lips with MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base. I brought out the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner in 8C to outline my lips with a nice, round, overdrawn shape and then fill them in completely with a bright red pencil. I made the shape even more exaggerated to give me plenty of space to play. Then I unwrapped another new Jeffree Star product, which is the ever beautiful Rich Blood Velour Liquid Lipstick. It has the same fun packaging as all of his lipsticks, with the rose gold insignia and print on the tube. I gave it a spank and a shake to mix it, then wiped the excess off the applicator to go straight in with the product on my lips. The finish of this lipstick is absolutely gorgeous. It has a deep but vibrant red shade. Plus it has a shimmer through it, which is magenta and bluish purple when you look up close. And the color is very sexy and glamorous. It only takes one or two coats if you want to get a really opaque look. Just make sure you remove any excess between your lips. The gorgeous shimmer of rich blood wasn't enough for me today, so I pulled out the Lit Cosmetics Glitter in Firecracker, size 3, and I'm using the Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base as an adhesive on the Japanese Small Eyeshadow Brush. Then I dipped the same brush into my favorite bright red glitter pot and pressed it onto my lips. I'm picking up more glitter base as needed and making sure I saturate the lip area all the way up to the edges with glitter. And I applied the glitter to half my bottom lip at a time to make it easier and also stretched my lips to make sure I get the glitter in every nook and cranny of the lips, including the corners. The best way to do this is work in small areas, that way the adhesive doesn't dry before you get the glitter onto it. So I have this gorgeous red glitter lip. It would totally rock for any red themed holiday or just to go out and knock people's socks off. This look is absolutely amazing on its own, and if you wanted to stop here, it would be a beautiful lip art in itself. But by now, you know that's not going to happen. So onward and upward with the embellishments and 3D madness, cause you know we're going to smack this bitch up so hard, it's going to blow you away. I'm going in with the ever useful prosade adhesive on a regular cotton bud and applying nice big round dots of glue across my lips. Now I have these amazing red metal roses from the Born Pretty store site and I'm picking them up with tweezers to apply a small dollop of prosade on the base of each of the roses. And when the glue is tacky and clear after a few minutes, I created my bed of roses all over my lips and I'm orientating them with the petals turned different ways in a pleasing fashion and pushing them into my skin with a fingertip. I placed down seven metal beauties and then bumped up my lovely rose bush with some leaves. I'm using a pointed cotton bud, dabbing small drops of glue around the roses, sometimes choosing two spots or three, and then I yanked out the wheel of elliptical rhinestones, also from Born Pretty, and chose these green ones. I'm picking them up with my embelly jelly stick to lay them down atop the glue, giving each rose at least two leaves, even adding three or so to the centerpiece. Then I decided to add one more rose right in the middle of my top lip and I'm filling out the bottom lip by squeezing in a couple more for that really full bush look. I of course added extra leaves for the new buds and I'm making sure the leaves nestle all nice and close under the petals. After I've had fun messing around with this delightful derangement, I have one of the most awesome lip looks I've ever created. The glitter lip is so beautiful to behold and would work really well for Christmas parties or even Halloween costumes bedazzled with red. And if you choose to go really mental, this could work as an Alice in Wonderland rosebush look if you continue with all the 3D awesomeness. I actually wore this through dinner and clearly survived, so if those of you who are curious got through the whole video, you have your answer to the frequently asked, can you eat with this on? 
And as is plain to hear, I can not only talk, but even attempt to sing without being encumbered by my accoutrements. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed this 3D rosy lip art tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also, check out my band and podcast on iTunes. And if you want to send me a letter or something, I have my PO box in the description box. Painting the roses red, we're painting the roses red. We dare not stop, no oyster drops, so let the paint be spread. We're painting the roses red, we're painting the roses red.